Hey, what's your pigs? How you doing? I thought I'd uh, say hello and uh, let you know what I'm up to. I'm taking this bike to go and get it MOT. Uh, it's his first MOT. Royal Albert Hall. You want to have a sing along? <sighs> anyway, nothing shut <laughs> yet. The, the bike shop is open, so it's all booked in. So I'll go up there in a minute. Just going to go through town. Uh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm working on um, producing, I have been producing the next Crikey video, which will be out, I reckon, next week. I've been on and off ooh, working on it for the last 10 days, <laughs> and I haven't even cut up the clips yet. This is just the bleeding intro. Uh, it's a marathon intro. Uh, I'll tell you what the video intro is about. I mean, the Crikey is just traffic. Uh, bit the clips bit but the intro is oh this might get you wet uh, it's all about celebrity pop stars and other celebrities <laughs> yeah and uh, we actually see a couple of them arrive in the flesh <gasps> yeah so that's coming out that, that's partly the reason you know it's such a long uh, it's such a long intro uh, with loads of uh, info in it and uh, hopefully some of it you won't know and it might be mildly amusing to watch while you're uh, flat out of your bed drinking Lemsip or whatever. <laughs> Who knows, I might have it by then. So that, that's the purpose of this video. And any, any YouTubers watching this, um, I'm still not a motor vlogger by the way, even though this very much looks like a motor vlog, um, you should be aware that <laughs> YouTube sent out a Twitter message. Uh, I think it was yesterday. <laughs> Basically, uh, because they said this sort of sent a load of their staff home YouTube is to be run by the robots and what you will what is going to happen they said is even though your video will be compliant um, very likely the robots will delete compliant videos anyway and of course there'll be nobody there to appeal to <laughs> so I look forward to putting up more videos shortly just to have robots squash them. <laughs> You've got to laugh, haven't you? Oh. Yay! I just want to see how busy Piccadilly is. Because yesterday, uh, Boris Johnson said only do travel if it's essential there's still plenty of cars around but yeah this is emptier than it normally is on a weekday but there's still people around still people just mending the roads yeah So things are thinning out. Woo. Yeah. Well, I'll say one thing, it's certainly uh, easier to get about, isn't it? That was super easy, barely an inconvenience. Well, don't pick up the cones then, on the side. Where's it going? <laughs> oh, blimey, they've closed that off. Don't mean you can jump a red light though. are jumping a lot of red lights today. Marvellous. Ah. Oh 
okay. I think he was trying to bait me. <laughs> Daring me to overtake him so he could issue me with an invoice. They're protesting about something outside Downing Street. Oh, it's the lack of soft toilet rolls. Yep, they want the quilted aloe vera -y ones. Not the hard ones that's like rubbing a blimmin' shredded wheat on your ass. Oh, even the flying yodos aren't there. Oh. Well, I better head on up to North London to get the MOT. Here we are. Maitland Racing. Get this MOT'd. I uh, put a new tail tidy on the back because um, there was no number plate light and apparently you do need those things. But I've ended up with a number plate for the day that's bigger than the cell on the Golden Hind. Oh, that was good. Very great place they are. I've been going for donkeys. And yes, yeah, Scooby, my leaf blower here, passed straight away. It is its first MOT. Shouldn't be too much wrong with it. I was going to go up on further up North London and see my nan, but you know, I don't really want to sit there chewing on a hobnob and listening to scooter stories, do I? I was saying to them, I remember the first time I went to Maitland uh, racing. Um, I was couriering at the time and uh, the bloke said to me, oh, well, you didn't, didn't really like working on uh, dispatch bikes, courier bikes, because they were always so shit, you know, in condition he meant. And he, of course he's right. <laughs> I ran uh, just two bikes then and uh, whenever I had time off I was always at the breakers trying to get all the parts that had fallen off during the week like you do you know <laughs> oh blimey it's him again it's already recorded in the next crikey video I've stopped and had a chat to him. <laughs> I had to find out. Yes, it's the Supermodo. Well, there we are. I think that's my last time at EAT. I started um, coming here in about May 2018 regularly. I used to go around the corner to the bike shed, but I don't go there anymore. And I started coming here, got to know them, and they started giving me free coffees. Anyway, today, they said they're not, they, can own, they can't take cash anymore. And I only pay cash whenever I can. You know, I don't like using cards. And uh, so they, I got the whole meal free today, but it's a bit sad. The staff are really worried. They're not opening at all ne from next week. And um, one girl in there I was talking to, she um, she comes from Spain. She doesn't know whether to get back while she can to her mum's in Spain or stick it out in London. I don't know what to say. London can be a bit of a tough place and we don't know what's ahead of us, do we, really? Oh, look. Motorbikes are allowed. Taxis and buses. Nothing else. That's brilliant. I've nearly got this whole bridge to myself. Yeah! Well, on that bombshell, Oh, there's HMS Belfast. On that bombshell, I'll say cheerio and thanks very much for watching my little catch-up MOT sort of um, Zombieland 28 Days Later London video. And I um, hope you come back and watch uh, 
the next Crikey video, which is a uh, has a lot more effort put into it. <laughs> Ta-da for now, and stay safe.